Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 48 of my modded Factorio playthrough. Enjoy. Alright, let's build that crawler. Lots of steel, lots of engines. Just pick up the steel from here. And there we go. Alright, let's put it down. I'm going to put it down over here for a specific reason. Boom. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? It's amazing. But better yet, look at the trunk. Look at the trunk. So much space it doesn't even fit on the screen. Look at that. It's great. And basically everywhere we go, we're taking the crawler. And that means that there's a lot of basic things that we don't need to carry. Things that are important, like these spare machines, but we don't use very often. Like fish. <laughs> the fish over there so we can stick these machines we don't often use inside the crawler and then whenever we're building stuff we could look inside the crawler for any spare resources we might need but it needs fuel of course it could just run on anything but why do that when you can research fuel processing now I don't remember which mod does fuel processing but it's really neat basically there's no recipe really you just throw a fuel inside it and then it will produce a unified vehicle fuel item. And it has a benefit of having slightly more fuel value, so I guess you can cheese the game by turning all your fuel into vehicle fuel and then just burning it in your factory to produce energy. You'll get slightly more that way. But most noteworthy is that it gives you a good vehicle acceleration of 175%, so it makes your vehicles faster. So they're a good deal. And it's very, very quick. And it's a cool machine. I like the, uh, I like the graphics on it. So, not sure. I think that's AI Industries that does that one, but I could be wrong. And it's done, just like that. And the fuel processor, which is a super easy thing to build, very energy efficient. And let's put it right there. And I'll use a wooden chest. I was thinking it would be nice to have wires that connected the two spots. If we put it one lower, it will. Because then that saves us the effort of having to have these up here. Is that one necessary? It probably is. I'm just going to leave it. But it's a cool little graphic where... You have the fuel blocks just kind of going in and going nom 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 disappearing and then you have the actual graphic of the vehicle fuel containers getting filled up and just the positioning of the inserters make it look like the inserters dropping fuel right in the processor and then it's picking it up from right here and sticking it in oops i accidentally fired a uh, robot at nothing but uh then there you go it just starts putting fuel in I think I'll limit it to three stacks. And the uh, the yield of fuel that you get depends on the energy of the fuel. So if you have a higher energy fuel, you'll get more vehicle fuels out of it. So it's fairly um, fairly easy. There's no, no settings to do. You just put fuel in and it just poops vehicle fuel out. So it's really easy in that sense. So we can put a tiny bit in here. And there we go. And I like how it has that truck sound to it. It's great. Now, it could be really hard to tell the front from the back. And honestly, it took me a long time. <laughs> but look at the wheels. The big wheel is the front. You'll use that to, if you need to figure out if you need to go forwards or backwards. And watch out about bumping into stuff with this thing. Because it just mows things over. <laughs> like, with, with reckless abandon. <laughs> It will just destroy anything you put in front of it. It's a bulldozer. I'm trying to think of things I wouldn't mind destroying. <laughs> just to show it off. But like... It doesn't care. So... <laughs> so, well, be very careful when you're driving around your factory with this thing. I don't... It's been a while since I've used the basic car. I don't remember if it did that, but... I kind of think it didn't. I felt that that kind of effect was more... Uh, of what the tank did where the tank just ran over things so this does a warning like this thing will kill you like if you actually jump in front of it it'll kill you so be careful but 
It has that cool vroom noise to it. It's a, it's a neat vehicle. It has like smoke coming out of it and everything. But it is kind of slow and has a really bad turning radius, so you have to be careful. And that's kind of why I place these poles like I did, because maneuvering between things with this is harder than you'd think. Like, these are even kind of in the way, but you have to be careful. So, just with your factory, try to place things far away. And if you find yourself constantly crashing into things with this, um, instead of just randomly rebuilding the thing and then moving on, maybe position things better so you're not constantly crashing into things with it. But now that we have this, we can store these inserters in here. Keep a few in my inventory to remind me that I need to be plopping them in the machines. But... Well, there's one last step to making this vehicle truly amazing. And that's construction robots. Specifically, Angel's construction robots, which are like a very low tier robot. They are reusable, and they are inferior in many ways to the uh, stock robots. But you can access them one, one tech level early, and that's kind of important, because you're going to be building a lot of big stuff. So I'd say we research it now. And of course, they have these enormous robo-ports. Like, everything with these basic level machines is large, kind of as a nerf to them to make them not as good. But... Like, I forget how big this thing is. I think it's like 5x5 five five or something like that. Like, it's huge. But we don't have to use them. We just want the robots. So let's research it for the robots. Meanwhile, we could start collecting the resources we're going to need for the robots. To be very careful where I drive. <laughs> Just plop the vehicle fuel in there. Well, I'll hold on to some of it because it's got a nice giant grid. And that grid doesn't receive power from the machine. You're going to need to have your own in there. And that's why they made you research the burner generator is so you could power the grid. It's fairly small. And if you right click it, it has its own inventory so you can put fuel in it. And the last thing is the construction roboports to allow us to use robots. These are much larger. You see how it's it has its own energy capacity where it's filling up, and this thing is basically running, uh, consuming fuel, filling it up, and then it stops when it's full. So we at least have room for two more. But you can see here that kind of no matter how you place these things, like, you can't squish them to the point where you can fit a fourth one in there because this burner generator is just too big. So you're going to have to deal with that. Now, you have room for three burner generators, but honestly, the one is plenty powerful. I've never really seen a need for it. You see how it's going at full blast, and it's charging these up just fine. So really, there's just a bunch of empty space and nothing to do with it for now. Now you want to have as many roboports as you can get because each one adds on to the previous one. So I mean, of course I'm wasting electricity by like constantly putting these in and getting rid of them. But if you put one in and then look, see this is the range of the robots with one roboport. So it goes out to right about here. But if we put a second roboport in here, it expands the range that the robots can go. Finally, if we put that last one in there, makes it much larger. So whenever you have something where vehicles or your power armor where you can choose how many roboports, generally more is better because it each one of these supplies two charging ports for a robot. So by having three of them, we have six robots that can charge simultaneously. And each one can support 50 robots. So by having three, it means this truck can have 150 robots. Uh, but also, it extends the the range at which they could work. So, you really want to jam as many in there as possible. And we can't have four in there with a vehicle generator, or with the uh, burner generator, but when we have solar panels, which are actually decent, they're not as good as a burner generator, but with solar panels, we would have room for a fourth roboport, which is nice.
see we're sucking up all of the iron right now. So, while we're waiting for robots to finish, which looks like they're actually not that far away, we can start collecting the resources necessary to build 150 of these guys. So it's going to take 150 engines, so we can work on collecting those. There we go, and just put the spare engines in here. And actually, I'm going to get rid of these, just to have the least amount of engines possible on the belt. So, Alright, so we need to turn all of these engines into robots. It's going to take a lot. Let's see... It looks like 300 electronic boards. We could build these things with um, with machines, but we're just they're we're not going to use that many. They're more supplementary because they're going to be attached to the truck. They're not going to be their own robot network flying around doing stuff. I mean, we could do that, but these early robots they're they're just not as good. They don't have as good of a range. So to, in order to have your factory have robots like that. It's going to be a lot of infrastructure that's just kind of a waste. At least that's how I see it. So, I'd rather not. Okay, so now basically we can just start building robots. And once we've used up all these engines, we've built our 150, or at least had them queued. So we just click it, see what we're low on. And then collect what we're low on. And no more steel. It's going to wait until the iron fills up, but... Okay, so we definitely need lots of gears. More steel. I'm trying to collect only this, but it looks like I'm just going to collect everything. There we go. Let's see if I can put those motors back where they started. There we go. We need more gears. Need more steel. Not too much more, it looks like. Well, kind of a lot. To do this, I think I'm going to kind of just cheat a little and just take away these inserters. Just so the ingots make it down to the steel machine. I'll pick this uh, belt up here just to make sure they collect right there. Almost. There we go, we've got them all queued up. Now I can uh, fix the inserters up here and just let the factory slowly recover. Let's collect some fuel. It's going to take a while to uh, build up the necessary fuel. I don't want to set that set that fuel processor to have like 10 stacks of fuel because we just won't need that much you know at most this machine's only going to hold six so i don't see the need to max it out so the burner's generator's full so now it just needs more on there well now we just wait it out a couple of minutes for the rest of these robots to build two left and done Let's put the machines in their new home. Of course, now we have this, so we have to test it, right? Make sure it works. There's always things that need doing with robots. I'm sure you've seen robots before, but nonetheless, I have to test it. Let's try cutting down some trees. So I usually like to place it as conveniently as possible, as close to the thing that's being done, because these robots aren't very fast. And they still consume electricity, so or consume electricity from the construction vehicle. So I try to minimize how much work they have to do. So let's just say we want all of these trees to disappear. Right there. Boom. That's a lot faster than using any other method available to us right now. <laughs> That's so cool. And then they have to wait their turn to charge. So there's only six charging slots. You see them all, like, stacked. <laughs> you can see the burner generator is having no problems keeping these maxed out. 
No problem at all. It can run at full power. So, there you go. Now we have a bunch of wood. How easy is that? Well, we can go zip over here and drop the stuff off. It and also doesn't stop very fast either, so never, like, stop with the thing in front that you want to stop at, because you might not stop fast enough, so I always try to stop off to the side like this. So... Well, let's test something else. Let's do the construction project. Something easy. Pick something big up and move it over one square. <laughs> Just to show it can be done. Here we go. I found... I found a victim. It's going to be this. I want to move it over... Actually, two squares. Let's move it two squares over. Let's get rid of those two. Clear out the belt, because when you pick stuff up, or you know, the machines are gonna have to pick up uh, all of the spare resources, the robots anyway. So by getting rid of as many spare resources as possible, you minimize the amount of work they have to do. We need to make a recipe or a blueprint. I keep calling them recipes because reasons. Let's say all of this. There we go. That's what we want. So you tell the robots to go nom 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 nom. Well, boom. And then say we want to put it two squares over. So right there. Boom. And they have to pick up resources from the truck, not from your inventory. So that's something to keep in mind. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? <laughs> that is neat. And then they just wait their turn to charge. It does take some amount of time, but that's a lot easier than the other options. So, move this over by like that. Uh, nope. That has to be further over because of this, so. It's not like this needed to happen, <laughs> moving this over by two squares. I just wanted to show off this cool machine. See, it has a little bit of resources that are left in it. So just kind of throw that in here. There we go. Isn't that awesome? We can go zipping around. Meow. Meow. But, uh, isn't that cool? Okay, so the question is what to go from here? What to do from here? Well, now that we have access to the construction vehicle... Now, I gotta call it by its real thing. Now that we have access to the crawler... Haha! -ha, <laughs> now we can expand our base. I think it's a little too early for trains. However, we can use this to go build up mining operations elsewhere and bring the resources in. And that way, because right now we're still kind of limited on ore. You see, we still only have 104k of ore left, so we still really can't waste it. We need to find a more efficient way of doing things. And 104k really isn't going to be enough to establish that. So we're going to use the crawler to find resources outside our base and truck them in. And it's going to be glorious. But that's all the time we have for today, so I will see you at the next episode. Thanks for watching.